As students return to their lessons, student athletes will also be returning to the playing field. At least that's the plan right now from the Alabama High School Athletic Association. But how will they do it safely? NBC 15's Corey Pippen is live in Baldwin County tonight with the new guidance coaches are now receiving to protect players and staff. Greg Kim, one local coach tells me this season will present a challenge unlike any other, but athletic officials are working to make sure when players hit the field, they're as safe as possible. Ready, go. With scheduled practices only weeks away and first games about a month out, high school football coaches are preparing for the challenge of gridiron action amid a pandemic. We're 100 percent we're a go today. That could change tomorrow or the day after. You know, we, but we, we just have to plan and, and prepare. Matt Blake, head football coach at Gulf Shores High School, says the State High School Athletics Association provided more guidance this week, discussing safety plans during a virtual meeting with coaches, educators, and medical experts, including ways to keep sidelines socially distant and provide individual cups of water when players need to hydrate. The athletic trainers will man those stations with gloves and masks. And they've talked about some um, possible modifications in pregame warm-up. State guidelines also call for sports to practice in small groups of 10, which aren't mixed or intermingled. People will do these things they because they want to stay in this. The vast majority of, of parents, they're going to impress upon their children to, to try to do the things that they can to stay healthy. Coach Blake says crowd Crowd capacity and social distancing in the stands will be decided by each school system, but there are still plenty of questions. What happens if we get ready to go to a ball game and, and we have three coaches that test positive or we have kids that test positive or kids' parents who, who test positive? We're trying to look at everything and make sure that there's no stone that, that goes unturned. Blake says he expects the AHSAA will provide even more guidance during their summer conference next week. Reporting live in Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.